Hi, first grade friends. Let's get ready for our foundations. The materials you will need at home are a red crayon, your notebook, and a pencil. The materials at school you'll need are a pencil, a red crayon, your dry erase board, a tile board. Today's objective is I can spell words with NK endings. Let's review the trick words we have learned this week. Put, also, come, and some. Now let's get ready to echo. Remember, when you re see Echo the Owl, you repeat after me. A, apple, a. B, bat, b. C, cat, k. D, dog, d. E, ed, e. F, fun, f. G, game, g. H, hat, h. I, itch, e. J, jug, j. K, kite, L lamp U. M man M. N nut N. O octopus A. Ah. P pan P. Q U queen Qu. R rat er S snake s T top t U up a uh. V van v W wind w X fox x. Y yellow y. Z zebra z. W H whistle w. C H chin ch. S H ship sh. Th thumb ck sock k. a l l ball all a m ham am a n fan an s bugs z. A-N-G, fang, ang. I-N-G, ring, ing. O-N-G, song, ong. U-N-G, lung, ung. A-N-K, bank, ank. I-N-K, Pink ink. O N K honk onk. U N K junk onk. Now let's pause the video and stretch all our vowel sounds out. So words can be category categorized into nouns, verbs, and even onomatopoeia. Those are the sound words that we mentioned last week. So nouns are a person, place, thing, animal, and or an idea. So some examples of a person could be a boy, girl, teacher, an astronaut. 
Some examples of a place are shop, store, mall, and school. Examples of things are cars, doors, shoes, balls. And examples of animals are dogs, cats, frogs, and whales. Words can also be verbs. Verbs are action words. Action words are things that we could do with our body, the way we move, things that we can do. So examples of verbs are sleep, skip, run, jump, hop, sing, read, play, and strut. Onomatopoeia words are sound words. And you see a lot of these sound words, especially in comic books or graphic novels, like pow, boom, pop, bam, and splat. So I want to take a look at these words over here, and I want to drag them into the correct category. So our categories are verbs, which are action words, nouns, a person, place, thing, or animal, or onomatopoeia words, sound words. So let's take a look at the words we have over here. We have thank, bonk, hank, bunk, sink, sink, honk, and think. So let's start right from the beginning. Thank. Do you think that's an action, something you do or say? Is it a noun, a person, place, or thing? Or is it an onomatopoeia? It's actually a verb. When you give thanks to somebody, or even if you're saying thank you, yes, you're saying that, and that would be a sound, but it's actually a verb. It's something that you're doing or showing. It's an action. Now let's look at the word bunk. That's actually an onomatopoeia. You're right. The sound, it's a sound word, bunk. Okay. Now let's look at Hank. It's a picture of Hank. So would that be a verb, an action word, a noun, a person plays their thing, or an onomatopoeia? It is a person. It's a noun. What about bunk? Look at these bunk beds. What category do you think it belongs? It belongs under nouns. It's a thing. Okay, so we have two sinks here. And they're actually very different. I know they sound exactly the same. They spelled the same. But... In different contexts, they are very different words. So let's look at this first sink. What is this ship doing? And that's the hint right there. This ship is sinking. So the sink of the ship. This is actually a verb. It's an action. It's something that the ship is doing. So it is sinking. But this sink is a different kind of word. What other word do you think it is? It is a noun. It is a thing, something that we wash our hands with. Good. Honk, honk. The word honk. Where do you think that goes? You are right. It is an onomatopoeia. It's a sound. Now the word think. Hmm, the word think is actually a verb because it is something that you do. Good job. Now I want to pull a star from the sky. So underneath all these stars, there are words that we could talk about. I'm going to pick this one. Underneath that star is the word thanks. Now let's talk about this word. Does it have a digraph in it? It actually does. It has the th, th, says th, and that is a digraph. Now, does it have a bonus letter? Does it have an extra F, S, Z, or L? No, I don't see a bonus letter there. But I do see an S at the end, but it's not an extra S. 
Does it have a glued sound? Yes, it does. It has ank. That is a glued sound. Does thanks have a suffix? Yes, it does. It has a suffix s. And can you use the word thanks in a sentence? Please mention it to your parent or to your teacher. Okay, now we need our tile boards, or if you're at home, you need your notebook and a pencil. We are going to build words. So I'm gonna use the word in a sentence. I'm gonna say the word again, and you're going to echo the word and then build it, okay? Let's all go skating at the skating rink. Rink. This is the word rink. Good job. Now let's put all our tiles back or make a new word. Again, I'm gonna read it in a sentence. You're going to echo the word after I say it the second time, and you're gonna build it. We have to organize all of this junk. Junk. Good, this is the word junk. All right, we're gonna make one more word. This animal is called a mink. Mink. Now this is the word mink. Good. So now you are going to try all of these things on your own. Have a great day.